cycle of love and compassion continues to blossom in the wake of the Nepal earthquake as city volunteers across the United States quickly stood up to answer the call for donations to aid earthquake recovery efforts in the country. Here's more. I feel really heartbroken for the people there and the tragedy, and so I just want to do something to help. I was in Nepal with the family. People there are very warm, very welcoming. Uh, they are basically Buddhist. Uh, some of them are Hindus, but they're all very, very nice people. I hope uh, more and more people will follow us and send uh, money and help to Nepal because they really needed it. I have been involved and supported the Suu Kyi Foundation for probably about five years or more. Every penny that they collect out here today or any day is going to go directly to the victims. I want to show her that it's very important to give back to our community and to other countries. It's not just about them receiving. I would like to install these morals for them and uh, teach them that there's more than just taking from people. They, it's very important to give back and to be supportive of people that are in need. Send love to Nepal. We are praying for Nepal. Send love to Nepal. Each year the Cinco de Mayo festival in Wilmington draws large crowds, and this year was no exception. However, this year a group of people dressed in blue and white stood out from the crowd. The earthquake in Nepal caused widespread devastation. Those who have the means can contribute financially. Those who don't can contribute their strength. I'm not well off, so I'm canvassing for donations as a way to help. It is a rewarding feeling to be able to help others in need. To help those affected by the earthquake, city volunteers across the United States have come together to hold donation drives in their local communities. Here at the Wilmington Community Clinic, four Hispanic volunteers have stepped up to help. We just keep the people in our prayers and continue to help and, and like not be sorry for anything because we're doing the right thing for, for the people and for ourselves mostly. Meanwhile in Seattle, volunteers and students of the City Academy took to the streets to do their bit. Despite suffering from a fracture in her foot, Chen Jinling was nonetheless determined to contribute in kind. Actually, she battles to walk and is unable to stand for long periods at a time. Her husband and children ask her, can you handle being on your feet for two hours? She told them that she would be really sad if she did not do something to help. There was widespread devastation across the entire country. It will take a lot of money to rebuild. So we have to seize the opportunity while we can to help them. With city volunteers in Seattle coming together to do what they can, the counterparts in Phoenix also pitched in. Splitting into small teams, volunteers stationed themselves outside supermarkets with their collection boxes. <laughs> It is in times like these that the love and kindness of humanity can help restore faith and hope to helpless hearts. 